Because it feels like I'm going everything. So A won't help. But it's probably done. So let me see. Uh... So anything that looks like, sounds like we haven't done before, then... Yeah. Gosh, episode one is the most, it's like... Oh. I'll try and get some blue uh, red coins while we try and figure out where, where they are. Um, what episode is this? Uh, we're in episode 8, so we should have mo most of the blue coins should be available to us. I think what the, most guys do is just li it just lists the blue coins like as soon as they can be available to get. So hopefully we should be fine. Just gotta find them. Okay, just land. This game really likes tight ropes for some reason. God, a stupid thing. Oh, red coins don't you I don't think red coins ca uh, count in the uh, coins either, so you can't even use that for 100 coins. Oh, man. Okay, so I think okay, we got four right there. So I, need... I think that's the rest of the last of the blue coin red coins here. You, are you just looking for your guide? Dang it, if I could reach that. Are you still there? I... I had my sharpening my grandmother, but the, my sharpening pencils my grandmother. I had uh, plugged out my foot, my computer charger, and I thought that I'd. But apparently I didn't, and then my computer ch tapped out of power. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. That's fine. Did you find anything about the, 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 the two blue coins we need, or. It would be nice if they, like, if they provide you a blue coin counter by episode, but apparently they don't. Yeah, that's the main thing. Like, there are ways they could have improved it. Like, have, like, a some kind of blue coin raider, or at least let you know how many blue coins are in an episode and how much you, how many of them you've got. Because it's, you're basically just on your own, so it's, like, good luck, really. Again, thankfully it's completely optional, but still. Hey, beehives, spray those. I can try. Yeah. I don't think we have a way to kill the bees, though, right now. I think that's one of the things we need Yoshi for. Okay. Hey. You... I mean... Yeah. I, I, like, I'm sorry, you need... Blue coins are kind of like separated by episode. 
Yeah. Well, this is episode 8 that you can't do anything here. Hmm. Get the red coins and do that mission, of course. But... Uh, what, 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 uh, what episode, uh... Well, thanks for the life, I guess, but I don't really need one right now. Uh... What, what, what's an episode that seems like, that has, like, a, like, blue coins that we didn't get? Uh... I don't even know where these last red coins are. <laughs> I'm having a major brain fart right now. I swear that... I feel like there's a, a one of the chapters has a... Episode 6, so you need to find a blue bird. Oh, it's one of those- Oh, I, f I completely forgot about those things. Okay. Oh, there's a red coin here. Um, I feel like there's another episode that has a um, another M uh, painting that we missed. Probably episode 1. Possibly, uh... Just lost one. Just go. Uh, just go on this. Well, Pretty I... much all on ropes or above water. Yeah. Trying to, game's trying to fight the camera. I haven't seen any, like, any more in the water, so it should be, like, on... There it is. Oh? <laughs> Wait, of the you... ropes. Okay, why is the camera doing that? Oh, okay, I see it now. Yeah. I don't like that the camera's, like, forcing me to look the other way, though. No! Let's get Rocket so we can just get up there quickly. It would have been nice if you could just switch between the nozzle, all the nozzles on the fly, but... Eh. I can love. It would have made, made for some interesting level design if they allowed you to do that. Potential <laughs> flood, they should, they should bring, bring, bring them back. What do you mean by them? As in singular? Oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what flood gender is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just- I'm not gonna do that. The, the, the windmill is just screwing up my view. Because I, I, I can just, because you have four types of uh, nozzles, like you have the main one that just sprays, and then you have the three secondaries. You, you, they, they could have easily just assigned all the, assigned them all to the D-pad, um, like have up be the normal one, and the remaining three just be types of nozzles. Um, I can probably just slide down or something, if we can do it right. Okay, that works. <laughs> uh. 
Like, if they make a Sunshine remake, or Sunshine 2, or just bring back Flood, it, I'd, I'd prefer if they, like, go the D-pad option, because it, it would open up a lot of cool possibilities. Alright, so where are we going back? Uh, let's start with... <clears throat> 6. Episode 6, okay. And there's like a bird or something, right? There's a blue bird on the rope in the village, which is the high up rope that you use to get the shines right in episode four. Okay. Yeah, okay, I remember the I remember this one. I completely forgot about the blue birds. So it should be around here. Um just get up a bit. Oops. Oh, oh, I think I see another blue coin over there, too. Okay, okay. Oh, so wow. It's just kind of flo- it's just here. I completely forgot about this one, too. That's kind of a troll one. Ugh. There's, there's always uh, going to be the, those few that you just forget. So let's just take out- yeah, there's the blue bird. Let's take out this guy first. He's the easier of the two, because he's- he, he goes in like a circle, basically, so just wait for him to just get go around and just spray him more. And then- okay, let's get a bit closer. And then he just eventually turns into a coin. Ah, my aiming sucks today. You gonna come back over? Yeah. Oh gosh, this would frustrate me as a child. You have to do this a lot, by the way. There's a lot of bluebirds like this. Like putting a needle through a spool. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, come on. He's like right there too, come on. I- I all- I just remembered we still have to do the 100 coin shine too. Dang it. Now there's a lot of streamlining and I'm okay with the Galaxy Games doing. <laughs> yeah. They still kind of have fluff in their own way with the comments, but... Um, they- they don't- No, I hate- no, I hate the comments, like, let, let me make that clear. Okay. I- I like them in Galaxy Ga 2. Fine there, Galaxy 1s are the worst, because they actually interrupt all the other missions. Yeah, and they feel blatantly, like, uh, like, just doing the same thing again. Because the time attack challenges barely feel like time attack challenges. Like, they give you way too much time for it to be an issue. And it just feels like you're playing the stage again. Sort of the bane of my existence. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Well, now we... wasn't busy work at all. <laughs> We're gonna have to be doing it more. Let's just get a rocket so we can get to the other one. Thankfully, this will take like, like ten seconds. <laughs> They refill your gauge. Yeah, every time you pick up a nozzle, you ref it refills. So that's nice. You also get your tank filled up. You get a one-up too. Rocket! I can't do the sound effects. Uh, I guess we'll just exit and go to your episode eight for the hundred coins. And near the past. I cleaned up that mess. <laughs> oh man. I like how when you go to a previous chapter I keep on I, I keep on alternating between chapters and episodes, it's the same basic thing. Uh but like whenever you go to a previous stage, uh you just if it, it, it feels like you're basically just going back in time. Which is kinda of funny. Uh so that there's nothing really to say about hundred coins in this game. Um 
they they basically just made them infinitely worse in 64 because there's not a lot, there's not as many coins to find as the levels in si most of 64's levels. You have to find the right episode to do it in the first place, and you can't stack them with like another shine. Like if you once you pick up the 100 coin shine, you're gonna exit the level. Whereas 64 let you do that, the 100 coin star and another like another star in the actual level. I don't really I don't really understand why they did that hit. Why they booed you out for this Stop. one? Isn't that a lower sight? 64. Hmm? An accidental oversight in 64. May maybe, but at the same time, the Bowser stages, um, they have stars that don't beat you out either, so I don't I don't know. But yeah, I just uh, have these guys bonk into the wall, they that gives you three coins each. And uh Yeah, there's Really not, not much to say about this, we're just kind of going to be kind of going around collecting coins. So. do it again, you miss one of the blood buds. There you go. Yeah. I just realized why the coins sound like is different in this one. Yeah. Okay, what, what are you... They little piantas. <laughs> Whoa, don't put me into this nonsense. What? Oh, it's just you. Hey, I. What did you say? Huh? What did the, what did the boy one say? <laughs> what did they do? I I feel like if we like, crap, that was a that was a mistake. If you jump on them, you just get one coin. Hopefully, we still get enough. Uh, but. It, I feel like that if we like talked, actually talked to the uh, the NPCs here, like throughout the episodes, we probably would know what's going on. But I don't really do that, so. Apparently, they're full of chocolate. Oh, oh, is that is that like a wiki or something? Oh, I'm just I'm just making a joke about. Why they're secreting this brown oh. crash into a wall? Oh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so there's not much to say about this. So um, you want to talk about that uh, Star Wars teaser that just came out earlier earlier today? Um, I guess. Uh... I'm intrigued. Um... Yes, I'm. It's as of every Star Wars trailer of this decade, it doesn't really tell us anything, but yeah. Um, probably told. Uh, it probably told us more than the uh, Last Jedi or Force Awakens teasers did, though. Time. It's time for this trilogy to come to an end. Yeah, I. I was saying this in in the C's, 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 C's chat earlier, but I I really want them to outdo episode six as ending because like that I I felt like such a good sense of finality with that with, with that and um, I I want I I just I'm not necessarily asking for the same exact ending, but I want to feel like closure. Oh, yeah, I I want the same sense of closure, like, a good sense of closure, because, like, when I see, look at the episode 6 ending, I, I feel, it feels really gratifying and, like, a good, just sense of finality, and I want a, like, a similar feeling like that. Okay, this guy needs to just stop doing this. But, yeah, I, I'm definitely interested, uh, on where this, uh, Final movie's gonna go, and um, I watched the panel. Like, oh god, the cast is adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't give Kelly Marie Tran a standing ovation, much deserved. 
And uh, Oscar Isaac and John Boyega are basically playing up the between and Poe. It's never gonna it's never gonna happen on screen, but we'll watch them in the panel panels. <laughs> So what did they do in the panel, uh, besides, like, the trailer? Uh, talk, basically. Show pictures of what cast might look like, will look like in episode 9. Okay. And, uh, Kennedy and, well, Stephen Colbert, who was hosting the panel. They were basically just introducing cast members. Okay. D. Williams showed up, finally. Hmm. So smooth. <laughs> what, uh, the movement in this game or, or Star Wars? Billy D. Williams' voice. Oh. <laughs> it's very smooth. Smooth. I finally watched Solo like two weeks ago. Yeah, Donald Glover does a good job as Lando. I still. I. I keep forgetting about, uh, Solo. I need to watch that. Because I've heard Good. it's decent, yeah. Also, that is too too true of what Xavier posted. Like, say, so, oh man, now I've got to deal with Star Wars fans again. Yeah, man. I'm just gonna try and enjoy myself with this yeah, movie. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the best way to go about it. Cause, um, I've, they, they, I think as I've gotten... Huh? Are you going to say? No, I was just going to say, like, the, the Star Wars community is just so, so filled with negativity right now. And it's basically... When they met that, honestly. <laughs> it's basically all, all they're talking about now, like, how much they, like, hate Lost Jedi and all this nonsense, which... Some of... I mean, some of the criticisms are valid, but... Man, can we move on, please? Like we, no, we we still we still whine about the prequels in 2019. We're never moving on. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's like I I have my issues with Lost Jedi myself, but you don't see me like ranting about it like day in and day out. Like nothing's gonna things like it's not like the movie. Not worth gonna, it. It isn't the yeah, it's, like, it's not like the movie's gonna change, like the next day if I like keep running about things I don't like. You see, Harry Abrams is back. He's gonna wreck on the Jedi out of existence. Yeah, I keep seeing that too. Like that's not gonna happen, like guys. Despite like the fact that Abrams actually loved Flash Jedi and wishes he was able to direct it. <laughs> oh man. The pa he was in the panel praising Brian Johnson for. Boys, it's it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. Cause like, that would like that would be really like pointless and feel, it would make if they just did something sh stupid. Cause I I see this kind of um this kind of comment a lot where it's like, oh, oh Ray Ray woke up or Luke just woke up from a nightmare, and then like and then and then it just. Episode 9 just starts off where Episode 7 ended, just like Episode 8. But Episode 8 is just a bad dream or something, it's just like... No, don't do that, because that completely ruins the, the point of a full movie. And like, just waste the audience's time. Like, don't do that. Like, even if you don't like... Even if you don't like Last Jedi, like... That that's that would, that's like completely like um, ignoring the people that did like it and just then not yeah sorry what huh if they're not, not retconning the prequels and they're not retconning the last Jedi <laughs> yeah I yeah you I know just... the prequels turned <laughs> wait what now. The man who is the Senate has returned. Yeah, that's gotten a lot of people talking. Uh, like, I'm. I wonder if it. I, I'm. I'm curious because I wonder if it's like gonna be some kind of like 
Palpatine isn't, like, actually really there, or... I, I don't know. Like, I'm kind of curious. Because the way they shot it made it sound like he just is back, period. But I'm not sure. Because, uh, like, the uh, theories are, like, going to be going crazy right now, because they... Because, like... I don't know, it could be the fact that may maybe uh, Snoke was just a puppet by Palpatine this whole time. Like, man, I don't know, like, it's, it's kind of interesting. Because like, we're in a, in a period, again, where we, like, we have, like, general ideas, but we don't, know a lot of specifics, so it's a lot of just speculating and stuff, and um, when it, when it's like, done for, like, just fun, like, just speculating to see, just for the fun of it, um, that's the, that's the type of stuff for Star Wars that I, I enjoy, like, the com community for, like, w when they're doing stuff like this and not just whining all the time. <laughs> But either way. I don't know, what do, you, what do you think about, like, Palpatine potentially coming back? Because, uh, hmm. I mean, I'm, uh... I won't lie, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I was grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, uh, yeah, I, I think ever, when we just... Uh, suddenly heard the, the, the iconic laugh. I think all of us were taken aback. Because I was just like... I, I was like... Really like... Like... I, I, I had a lot of emotions running through me at the same time. Oh, done with this nonsense. I need more Palpatine memes in my life, so this is okay. <laughs> I, I would like... Like, because episode six didn't really have a proper Pal Palpatine fight, so no, it'll be it'll be nice if we actually because like we had one with Yoda in episode three, but it'd be cool if we get like one of like Ray and Palpatine or like or like uh, Luke's ghost helps us or something. I don't know. It's, it, I, I'm interested to see where they go with this and. Um, I'm also just curious on what exactly they mean by closing off, like, everything. Like, that could mean a lot of things. X marks the spot! Yep. Oh yeah, that, that's one of the, yeah. We're, we're gonna be, we're gonna do that when we actually get the blue coins in now, Delfino. Let's just talk to the toad. Uh, these toads are completely useless. <laughs> Yeah, I found that out ages ago. Okay, not entirely useless. Yeah. The box breaker. Just... Oh, okay. Pound pound, basically. Yep. I'm presuming this is the Toad Brigade. Maybe they evolved into the Toad Brigade. That would be interesting. <laughs> Stands is just five NPCs to a company Toad's worth. Yeah. And he's also the most, probably the endur most enduring legacy of this game. Yeah. So any more? Toad's, yeah, Toad's worth only shows up in like spin offs after this, I think. Uh... Shows up in New Super Mario Bros. 1, taking on the role that regular Toad would normally have. Oh, uh, yeah, I completely nice. forgot about that. I, yeah, huh. New Mario Wii's like, ah, oh, screw that! <laughs> Regular Toad's back! Yeah. But yeah, the, uh... Let's just make sure, like, it's all saved correctly and all that. So we're good. Yeah, 12 star- uh, 12 shines, so we're good. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna stop here, because it's getting stupid late for me. Uh, and next time, we'll go through Rico Harbor, and, um... If we have more time, we'll continue after that, so... Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. All right. All right.